Hey filmmaker, Shungdi here. So I bought the Panasonic GH5 and I'm going to explain you quickly why I bought it and the cameras that I've used before. So this is the Panasonic G7 which I use a lot for vlogging. However, recently this button here, the shutter button just popped off. So I have to send this for repair with the warranty I still got on this camera. And hopefully I can get it back really quick. And why? I have here a A6300 which is also a nice camera to vlog with but yeah it doesn't have a proper flip out screen so I can see myself with and the amount of batteries I have to carry if I want to vlog the full day with is about 7 batteries which is just ridiculous for the amount that I need to yeah bring with me so unboxing the GH5 so I paid like this amount for it so yeah it's not a cheap camera but it is really nice so yeah let's open it here actually here it says like accessories you can buy for it and I think I will buy at least the XLR and yeah not quite sure anything else at least I think a few extra batteries should be also here is a booklet with everything info about and a lot of tabs here and here the important part the Panasonic JH5 camera body a nice clean screen here and what else do we have the GH5 neck strap. I'm not going to use it because I'm mostly filming and don't need the neck strap. Cables, more cables, USB cables, charger. Oh, a uh, yeah, lock port for the cables. Pretty nice. You get one with it, and the most important one the battery so these are the stuff that you get in the box booklet charger ch cable for the charger cable for the camera neck strap lock port one battery and of course the GH5 camera body so here is the Panasonic GH5 a few things that really annoys me are these little things uh, I'm not sure why they have changed it to these because maybe it doesn't use a lot of space but it really annoys me because this is going to make a lot of noise so I'm going to prep it by removing these first remove the plastic that is around the rings then you can access it much better to remove the rings itself so, moving the ring and there we have it the ring removed and this I'm going to put inside of the box the rings removed we can move it about and we don't hear those things anymore and now putting in the battery so just going to this battery here have a lock here opens on its own and this goes in like this and lock it back in and now we're going to turn it on here Personally for me this will be my new vlogging camera. I'm going to yeah be able to vlog at 4K 60p. However, I won't be outputting in 4K, maybe in 2.5K. Uh, but yeah, the 60p is most important for me so that I can do slow-mo in higher resolution and actually zoom in and out uh, if I need it because I will be using the 7 to 14 millimeter on this camera 
and uh, yeah enable me to get like better vlogs and yeah the future upgrade adding to this I'll probably get like uh, yeah hopefully they will be releasing the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus very soon and uh, add it to this setup hope you guys like this unboxing video and please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more upcoming videos please subscribe also check out my other videos there's more previews reviews and more and if you have any questions or want to see in the upcoming review of the gh5 please comment below and i'll see you the next time bye bye